This is the season for H1B visa interviews and in this video we will be covering 5 important tips which will help you in clearing this interview so keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel you will find lots of useful videos on the US visa process so make sure to check them out. Today's video is about H1B visa interviews. So, H-1B visa is one of the most popular ways to enter US and to work in the US. In fact, most of the Indians who are in US and who are working are on the H-1B visa. And this is a visa which allows companies to hire highly skilled, highly educated individuals and employ them to work with specific clients on a specific project or even in any specific occupation or role. So this video is going to be a power packed video. We're going to be talking about five interview tips and these are the things you really need to take care to make sure that you will ace your H-1B visa interview. We are also going to be showing you real H-1B visa interview experiences. So make sure that you watch till the end of this video. And we have a free PDF download. So this is a PDF which has the list of all the documents that you need to prepare for your interview. The link for this is in the description box below. Make sure that you download it once you're done watching the video. So let me start with the first step and this is for your DS-160 form. DS-160 form is the only document that you are required to submit in the entire US visa process. And this is the form that the visa officer is going to have in front of him when you appear for the interview. So most of the form is factual but there is one page in the form which is really important and that is your work and education information. The visa officer might not ask for your resume but he's definitely going to read this page of your DS-160 form. So what you write in here is going to be really really critical. When you fill in the form, take a lot of care when you're writing about your current work experience because this is where the focus of the visa officer is. And in the current work experience, you will see a box. Briefly describe your duties. This has to be well structured. Make it descriptive. Make sure that you're writing at least five to six lines about your current role. And it includes details of your designation, your domain of work. Also, when you're describing your responsibilities, you can take care to include the same keywords and the same skill sets for which you're being hired in the US. So your role in US will be for a particular skill set or a particular expertise. And when you write your current work experience, make sure that there's a synergy between the two. That means what you're doing currently and your role in US should be related to each other and showing that you have the same expertise and the same skill set. The second tip that I have is with respect to the documents. Now, US visa processes are known to not ask any documents, but there's an exception for H-1B visa. In H-1B visa interviews, there are two to three documents which are generally asked. The first one is the client letter. So the client letter, the client for whom you're going to be working for in the US, uh, it could be for a specific role or even for a specific project is important. And in most of the H-1B visa interviews, they do ask for a client letter. Now, in your case, you might not have a client letter. So if that's the situation, it would be best to carry some supporting evidence or supporting letter saying that a client letter could not be issued. You could also be asked about the employment letter from the company in US. And this is also a very important document to carry with you. If you're already working with the company in US and you're gonna be coming back for stamping, then make sure that you carry the employment verification letter, your pay slips and your W-2 form. So to make sure that you have the entire set of documents which are necessary for the interview, we have created a PDF document checklist. The link for this is in the description box below. So make sure that you download it and make use of this checklist. So if you're still here, still watching the video, give this video a thumbs up. So if you have managed to book your slot, do comment below and let me know when is your H-1B visa interview and also which location you're going to give the interview from. The third tip I have is prepare really well for the first question. Now most H-1B visa interviews will begin by asking about your current company and your current role. That means where are you working currently and what are you doing currently? And this is a way for the visa officer to judge whether you have any specialized skill, whether you have any specialized knowledge. So when you talk about your current company and your current role, instead of talking about the day-to-day -day responsibilities, which might sound a little generic, make sure to include details of any domain expertise you have, any specialized knowledge or skills that you possess. For example, you could have domain expertise in say a cloud domain, or your expertise could be in setting up automation processes, or your expertise could be in a very particular type of development. So whatever is your key skill set and expertise that you have developed over the years, particularly in the current role, make sure that you highlight it upfront when asked about what are you doing currently. And if you answer this first question really well and the visa officer is convinced that you do have specialized skill or specialized knowledge, 
you also avoid a lot of follow up questions such as why you why not someone else why not someone from the us and so on the fourth tip is to prepare really well for the most important question what is your role in us all h1b visa interviews typically have this question that what will be your role in us why have you been hired or what are you going to be doing in the us office now to answer this question the main thing that you need to understand is that what is the key requirement or the need in the us office you might not have the details of the project that you're working on but what is the requirement or the need that you are fulfilling should be known to you for example maybe the company has acquired new clients and there is some type of development work to be done for them and you will be part of that or there is some migration going on in the internal systems and you are going to be a part of this entire migration project so whatever is the change or the requirement in the us team or the us office should be known to you and when you are answering about your role in us combine this change or this requirement along with your expertise so when you combine these two things it gives a very convincing answer as to what will be your role in the us and again giving a good convincing answer here also avoids a lot of unnecessary follow up questions and the fifth tip that i have for acing your h1b visa interview has a lot to do with how you speak and how you appear now in work visas a lot of importance is given to your presentation so more than any other visa category such as tourist visas or f1 visas how you look how you present yourself is very very important for work visas like h1b so make sure that you practice enough make sure that you are confident and you are able to speak clearly and express yourself in front of the visa officer also take care of your grooming you should be well dressed make sure that you are wearing formal clothes wearing formal clothes for h1b is important it's a given so make sure that you are wearing proper formals you need not wear a tie and a blazer but formal clothing both for men and women is very very important in fact we have an entire video on how to dress for your us visa interview so you can check out this video as well so these were five tips to ace your h1b visa interview i really hope that it helps you for a more detailed prep you can get in touch with me we can do a one to one session to structure your answers we can do mock interview we can also review your ts 160 form the detail of all of this is in the description box below make sure to check it out if you have any more questions feel free to leave it in the comment section below you could also dm me on instagram my instagram handle is at shachi.mal and before you go watch the rest of the video because now we're going to show you real h1b visa interview experiences so these are interview experiences which have happened in the last few months and it's a good way to get a sense of what type of questions are being asked and how your interview could potentially look like so i really hope that it helps you and i'll see you soon make sure that you subscribe we have more useful content coming up for the h1b visa series signing off for now bye